In the last one year, Nigeria has witnessed a decrease in the rate of circulating variant polio virus type 2 cases. Experts at this year's World Polio Day say plans are underway to begin a synchronized polio vaccination in states bordering Niger and Chad in the coming days. Kemi Balogun has the details. Despite substantial efforts, forms of the polio virus still persist in some African regions. This has been mainly fueled by factors like misinformation, insecurity, limited access to health care, and high levels of population movement. In 2024 alone, 134 polio type 2 detections have been reported jointly in Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Central Africa Republic, Chad, Mali, Niger, and Nigeria. The World Health Organization says although the continent is now closer more than ever to a polio-free Africa, more work still needs to be done. The transmission of polio in conflict-affected areas in Gaza, Sudan, and Yemen is a stark reminder that where conflict deliberates, debilitates, health, health facilities suffer, sanitation system suffer, and polio continue inevitably to appear and it will continue to do so unless we decide to initiate deliberate action. Recorded 83 cases of circulating variant polio virus type 2 across 14 states in the country. The bulk of these cases, 64 out of 83, are what is called acute flaccid paralysis, while the remaining 19 were found from environmental sites. Although this is a reduction of about a third, 35% from what we had in the same period last year. Nigeria says it will now begin a synchronized vaccination campaign in states bordering Niger and Chad in the next few days. As you know, the cross-border uh, movement of people is very common in some common communities across the border. And we have scheduled cross-border uh, synchronized campaigns so that campaigns are going on at the same time. And that will be kicking off in a, in a matter of days. We also do have large-scale campaigns across about 20 states scheduled. Experts here say vigilance remains critical through the enhancement of surveillance, especially in underserved areas, and accelerated response to any new detection is key. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.